Radionix Radio is an experimental web application that's designed to turn your thoughts into frequencies. The application operates on the highly unusual mysterious principles of radionics, and this video is intended to give you an idea as to how it works. To begin with, click on Start, and then choose your thought and type it into the thought box. It can be anything, any concept, object or idea. It doesn't have to be complicated. You're now ready to turn on the oscillator. Make sure you turn on your speakers too, and that the volume is up. You may want to sweep the large frequency dial around by clicking and dragging just to get a general idea of the volume levels, then adjust the volume to a level that's not too loud. The volume can also be adjusted by using the dial on the lower left section of the application. You can move this in the same way by clicking and dragging. Using the small selector dial above the volume dial, you can also switch between higher frequency ranges to access the higher frequencies too. Now choose a starting frequency. This can be any frequency you want, but should generally be a low frequency, possibly even zero hertz, or something just about audible, a suitable starting point. Pressing one on the keyboard now enters the fine frequency searching mode and you'll notice that a circle appears around the thought box. You can exit this mode at any time by pressing 2, but to demonstrate the search mode, we'll press 1 again to get into the frequency searching mode. This is the radionics part. This is where it gets strange. Choose a smooth surface, any surface within reach, just to rub your finger on. This is known as a radionic detector pad. Now with the other hand, Begin moving the mouse around the thought box. Just move the mouse, don't click. Just rotate the cursor around the thought, as indicated by the circle. A clockwise direction increases the frequency. As you slowly scan through the frequencies in this way, rub your other hand on the detector pad and make sure you maintain mental focus on the concept inside the thought box at all times. At some point, you may feel your finger on the rubbing pad encounters a stick, a slight sense of friction on the surface. This indicates that the current frequency radionically corresponds to the concept in the thought box. Immediately stop rotating the mouse at this point and click once to store the current frequency in a list. This exits the search mode and pressing one again re-enters the mode so you can now continue searching to find any other frequencies that radionically correspond to the thought box. It's an intuitive process of scanning through the frequency spectrum, concentrating on the thought and clicking whenever you feel friction on your rubbing finger. In this way, you build up a run of numbers relating to the thought. If, however, you have a laptop computer, the process becomes even simpler, as the trackpad itself becomes the rubbing surface. So on the laptop, again, pressing 1 begins searching, and on the trackpad, Simply rub your finger clockwise, making sure that the cursor is circling around the thought box. Remember to concentrate on the thought. When you encounter some friction, click to store the frequency. Then press 1 again to resume searching. It's a very peculiar process and a full sweep of the whole frequency spectrum may take up to 10 minutes. You don't have to fill up all six entries on the list, it's up to you. When you're happy that the list is populated with numbers that radionically represent your thought, you're now ready to send all the frequency numbers to Radionics Radio. Simply click Send All to open a dialog box. Then enter a username or email address in the username field. And when you've done that, click Send All within the dialog box. The frequencies will then be converted into combined frequency clusters and broadcast as part of the experimental radionics radio project. More information on this can be found at www.miraculousagitations.com.